Thank you. Ernest Surtason. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, a, a recent letter published uh, by, uh, and signed by over 50 international NGOs calls on the ECB to lead by example when it comes to increasing financial transparency over the risks and implications of climate change. The letter underlines in particular the importance of transparency and disclosure in relation to climate change and welcomes the role of the Financial Stability Board, which puts climate change firmly on the agenda, establishing the Task Force on Climate-Related Financial Disclosures. President Draghi, given, the ECB, the, the, given, given that the ECB currently holds over $440 billion worth of private sector assets through its various asset purchase programs, what are your views on the possibility that the ECB could, as a public institution, lead by the example and apply voluntarily the recommendations of the Task Force on Climate-Related Financial Disclosures? Do you stand ready to recommend such a way forward to the ECB Governing Council? Mind, the eligibility criteria are primarily guided by monetary policy consideration and the fact that we have to comply with our mandate, which is price stability. But our monetary policy certainly includes green bonds. We bought a lot of green bonds and we are buying a lot of EIB, European Investment Bonds, European Investment Bank Bonds, which is one of the world's largest issuers of green bonds. So bottom line is we are trying to do our best within the limit that uh, guide, uh, within the limits that guide our monetary policy. And secondly, I wanted to thank you for your response to our letter on the climate impact on the corporate sector purchase program. And I saw that, I heard on your earlier response that you, know, you believe that the CSPP has purchased green bonds. But I'd like to pursue it a bit further and, and get greater clarity. Did the ECB undertake analysis of the climate impact of its QE program? And is there a, an internal impact assessment process undertaken by the ECB? Because there's an LSE study that said 62% of the CSPP bonds are highly carbon intensive. I'm not sure if that's the case, but that's what they said. The second, to my knowledge, we don't have an analysis of the impact uh, of uh, our program or of climate change considerations in our program. Uh, but I can, certainly, uh, I can certainly say that we'll look into this and see what, uh, what's, the, what's the effect. 